Hey guys, it's Sam, and today I want to talk a little bit, celebrate a little bit with all of you that the Grishaverse is getting a TV adaptation. So when I first heard this news, I had about 8 million people tweet me the article about it because I was at work, so I didn't get to fully screech in the way that I would have liked to. But yeah, I'm excited, also in disbelief. I'm also in disbelief of the people that keep asking me if I'm excited, like, do you know me? It's sort of like when they ask the winning team after the Super Bowl, like, how do you feel about winning the Super Bowl? So it's sort of like there are no dumb questions, but also there's questions you already know the answer to. So. I'm obviously excited, but also in kind of like stunned disbelief because I truly never thought that we would actually get a Shadow and Bone specific adaptation. I thought there was always probably a chance of Six of Crows being adapted because it's just more universally well liked, but the fact that I'm actually getting Shadow and Bone, like the only thing that can top that would be if like the Night Circus actually got adapted, but otherwise like this is my most wanted adaptation that I truly never thought I was going to get. So I'm not going to go into all the information about this because because I, eh, but I will link the announcement article down below so you guys can check out all the details if you haven't already heard yourselves. So what are my thoughts? Like I actually wasn't initially even going to do a video talking about the announcement because typically speaking I don't get excited for adaptations until they're like officially happening we get casting news. But I'm pretty sure this will happen because it is Netflix and because I'm pretty sure Lee would not be talking about it if there wasn't some action going on with it and it wasn't moving forward at a pretty good clip because she's pretty good about that. She's had stuff optioned before and hasn't hyped the fact that it's optioned because she knows how it works so the fact that she is hyping it makes me think that it's farther along. And Netflix has been churning out the different adaptation content pretty quickly, so I feel pretty secure in the fact that we're going to get it. But typically speaking, I don't get my hopes up for adaptations that have just been optioned or anything because you never know about it. But for this, I, I feel content. Also, I'm pretty optimistic because it is Netflix. Netflix would be my top pick for who would produce this. So the fact that it is going to be Netflix has me super hyped because I feel like they're the most likely to get it right. I am still cautiously optimistic. I still know that things are going to be changed even though she's an executive producer on it. Like there's still things that are changed for TV. Like I'm still like keeping as even a expectation as possible. But the most excited I could be because it is Netflix. I'm also thinking, and she has said, that the first couple of seasons are going to be very Shadow and Bone focused, and then there's going to be Six of Crows. What I'm thinking is going to be backstory. All the backstory pieces we're probably going to get mixed into what's happening with Shadow and Bone as those things are happening. Since Six of Crows does happen in a different timeline, it, you know, it happens after Shadow and Bone, so we're not going to get the Six of Crows actual stuff happening until later on. But we'll see those characters and I'm interested to see how they're going to weave in other parts of the world and stuff. TV shows happen usually to expand the worlds a bit and make you kind of see everything going on at once. So I'm interested to see how they do that and there's just going to be like a plethora of characters. But honestly right now I don't even care about the Six of Crows part. Like I love Six of Crows but like Shadow and Bone is my baby. Like that series is like my my soul. So like, I'm excited for Six of Crows. I'm gonna love it. Like, it's gonna be great to see, but I'm like, I get to see all of my Shadow and Bone children. Like, oh my god. And I don't have any casting predictions. I don't like to do a ton of predictions anyway for anything because I feel like predicting things set you up for disappointment. When you start to overanalyze things, you start to say like, oh, I really hope that this person is who they cast and blah, blah, blah. Like, it just sets you up for a potential failure and then you are already like against who they're casting if they cast someone different and it just like, I've seen fandoms get all upset about this kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of taking a back seat with the whole like casting predictions. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't know enough about actors or up and coming actors. I kind of want like no names, but otherwise like, I really don't care who it is. My forever fan cast has been Sean O'Pry for The Darkling, but Sean O'Pry's a model. He's not going to be acting, so like that's not going to happen, and I'm okay with that. But someone with Sean O'Pry's look would be great, but otherwise, like, as long as they have the attitude, like, I don't care what they look like. It's fine. I'm going to definitely be doing videos about casting news as we get it, because I'm going to be all up in your face with the Grisha content as it gets revealed. I cannot wait for the gift sets and the photo sets and the like m ship music videos and all these things that I never got to get for Shadow and Bone. I never thought I would and then we're going to and I'll get to I have like all these like angsty things. <gasps> I cannot wait. I'm gonna wait. I decided I'm going to make my triumphant return to Tumblr before that which means I have to catch up on some Marvel stuff but I'm gonna do that because I need to be there. I need to be present for this moment in fandom history. 
So yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic. I still know this could go south, but I'm in, I'm in the best place that I could be, and I refuse to accept a reality in which this show is shit. So I do hope that they get it together and it goes well. But as I said, I will be doing discussion content on everything that we get revealed, like in chunks. I'm not gonna, every single thing that happens, I'm not gonna post a video about. So y'all need to make sure that you chill about that, because that's not gonna happen. I have, I have a life. But as we get like the major casting, like of Alina and the Darkling and Mal and Nikolai and all that, like I will talk about that. I'll be doing discussions on that. I'm gonna, I plan on doing discussions at every single episode. The only thing that has me like, uh, about that is it's a Netflix show and it's all gonna drop at once. So I'm gonna have to like be binge watching it so that no one spoils me, because I know y'all are gonna come into my social media platforms and like be like, did you see this thing? And whatever, so I'm gonna have to binge watch it. But then between episodes, film, discussion videos, and like it's just gonna be a whole thing. So I'm just gonna have to take some time off work when that happens. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing like episode discussions and uh, you'll have all my thoughts. You'll have all my thoughts and feelings as they are revealed. So that is it for me talking about the announcement because I, I knew I, I had to, it's a big moment in my fandom life, so I figured I should probably talk about it. So comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm sure they're all gonna be like positive and gushy and like I already know, you know. We don't know a lot right now, but comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Mm -hmm.